Psalm 55. Listen to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am restless and distraught in my complaint and must moan. I am distracted at the noise of the enemy because of the oppression and threats of the wicked, for they would cast trouble upon me, and in wrath they persecute me. My heart is grievously pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me. Horror and fright have overwhelmed me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Yes, I would wander far away. I would lodge in the wilderness. Say that. Pause and calmly think of that. I would hasten to escape and to find a shelter from this stormy wind and tempest. Destroy their schemes, O Lord. Confuse their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about in its walls. Iniquity and mischief are in their midst. Violence and ruin are within it. Fraud and guile do not depart from its streets and marketplaces. For it is not an enemy who reproaches and taunts me. When I might bear it, nor is it one who has hated me, who insolently vaunts himself against me, then I might hide from him. But it was you, a man my equal, my companion, and my familiar friend. We had sweet fellowship together and used to walk to the house of God in company. Let desolations and death come suddenly upon them. Let them go down alive to Sheol, the place of the dead. For evils are in their habitation in the heart and their inmost heart. As for me, I will call upon God and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I utter my complaint and moan and sigh and he will hear my voice. He has redeemed my life in peace from the battle that was against me, so that none came near me. For they were many who strove with me.
God will hear and humble them. Even he who abides of old, say thou pause and calmly think of that. Because in them there has been no change of heart, and they do not fear, revere, and worship God. My companion has put forth his hands against those who are at peace with him. He has broken and profaned his agreement of friendship and loyalty. The words of his mouth were smoother than cream or butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, releasing the weight of him, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the consistently righteous to be moved, made to slip fall or fail. But you, O oh God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of destruction. Men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their days. But I will trust him, lean on him. 